Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how I make these beautiful flowers that look like glass but they're actually made out of plastic, melted plastic, and it's from the top from the Coca-Cola bottles. So once I've cut my Coca-Cola bottles to make these um, containers, this is the piece here that I have left over because I throw away the spout, well I recycle the spout. So to get started you'll need a pair of scissors and this piece of plastic from the bottle. And as you see here, I've actually already drawn some circles on here. I've made myself a template with the three sizes. So I draw on the plastic the sizes I need and then I just cut them out with scissors. Really simple. Now don't worry that the, the plastic keeps doing this because it has a memory and it'll always go back to there because you're going to melt this so it won't matter. Okay, so let's get started. So what I've done is I've cut three out already and I want to show you how I colour them. Now I've half done this and you'll see here that I've half done this here. I just want to quickly show you how to do this. So as you see I've coloured in this side and then once that side's dried you put it down and you colour in this side. Now you are going to get those smear marks. But that's fine because I mean it really it doesn't it doesn't show. So all you do is hold down the plastic and just colour away with the sharpening. Now it's always best to do this on a white piece of card so that you can see where you've missed. So there you go. See how it's sort of dark there and light because I've actually done the other side and we've got some smear marks there. So I'm just going to check that out. So and then all you need to do, and usually I would wait for that to dry, you colour in this side and it's a huge difference once you see the other side being coloured in because all those patches that are there from the other side go away and it just looks like a clear, uh, you know, not clear, uh, a piece of red glass. So I'm just going to put that aside to dry. When you're colouring in these things, what I do is I push them down like this because you don't want to hold them down with your fingers and I put my pen in the middle and I use my pen to hold it and then I colour it in this way and I go around colouring it in so that I don't have, because as soon as you touch it, it just lifts it off. And if you go over and over a colour, it'll actually start to take it off. So just colour it in once. So I've done my three. I've got the red, the big, the medium and the small. I, you can do four, but I just find three is fine. And what I've also done is I've cut some green plastic, which I've got from a lemon, lime and bitters bottle. And I've just cut an ordinary shape leaf and what I do is I bend it in the middle to sort of give me more of a leaf shape and then I melt that as well. So you will need a candle, a pair of tweezers and let's get started. So I've just lit my candle over here I'm just going to put it to the side. We'll start with the leaves and honestly this, this starts to melt pretty quickly. See how it's bending? Now you don't have to use your hands but I do because I, I want a certain shape. Okay, even the scorch black marks just, just come right off. So I quite like that shape there, see? It's actually turned out quite nice. Now I'm using a um, just an ordinary metal old dish that I've got. And it kind of just keeps everything safe. Usually I've got my um, silicon baking mat down, but I took it off my desk this morning. So I actually use my hands as well. I just find that to get the desired shape, sometimes you need to use your hands. And I'll just push it there. Just try and sort of round it off a bit more. And it's not doing what I want it to do, so we'll just put that one aside. Here's our nice little small circle. And this is going to be the inner circle. I don't know if you can see that, but see how it just starts to curl in. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, it's just curled in, and that's just come in beautifully. And finally, this is how quick it is, the big one. And you can sort of go back and keep changing them until you get the desired shape. I just want to quickly show you how this, when they start to curl over like that, I usually try and grab them. 
And it's great that you've actually already put a dot in the centre when you've pulled it, pushed it down with your pen to colour in, because it kind of tells you that's the middle of the flower. It's just going to make life a lot easier. So I like that shape. I quite like that shape. I don't like this shape, so I'm going to see if I can kind of um, melt this a bit more. No, it just wants to roll. Worst comes to worst, we'll just do another one. Yep, that's a bit better. And yes, it's very hot. But anywho, might not be able to use that, so I'll just do my other leaf as well. Get a nice little sort of leaf look. It's just amazing how quick this is and how hot this can get. Now that's cool, I quite like that look. And see how I had a bit of black on there and I've just taken that off. So I'm just going to move this candle aside and start to stack up the flower. Now I'm not happy with this one so I won't put that one in, I'll actually do another centre one but I'll just show you with two. So now that you've got your, imagine it would be three, your flowers there, I use an old safety pin to heat the hole in the centre. So what I've done is I've got a safety pin here and I hold it there so that I don't burn my hands. So all you need to do, I'm just going to push this over here, is heat the safety pin until it starts to look red. And then I just poke it in the centre and see how it just melts that hole in there. I don't know if you're seeing that. But there you go. That's how easy it is. Just going to put another hole here and I've already got my mark where I want it to go. And I've actually done them as slits simply because I'm putting a brad through them. And with my leaves, again, I'm just going to put it straight through there. don't know if you can see that. And on my other leaf, and I really like that little curled thing, I'm going to go this way because I want the leaf sitting a bit differently. So, just move that over. Again, it would be three layers normally, so I'm just going to put the brad in the first one and then I would have put it in through the second and then the third but we've only got two but you get the idea and that actually looks quite nice and then because I've got the leaves one with a slit going that way I put that one over there and this one I put on here this way and that gives me the angle of the leaves now you can go back and keep melting them if it won't fit you just pull down the brad simply like that. I'm actually just going to not do that because I want to add more to that. And there is this beautiful flower. It actually is lovely. Now I also do some painted stones with nail polish and I mean you can glue on top of that brad your beautiful little painted nail polish stone. That actually looks really good. So there you go. That's how you make a flower using this plastic piece from the cut off Coca-Cola bottles and there's a tutorial on how I make that container. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, thank you and check out my Etsy store. Thanks again.